What is important about institutional strategic planning for today and for the future? Institutional strategic planning can be an excellent tool. However, if you spend a bunch of time doing institutional planning, which a lot of presidents will take their leadership team on a retreat and they'll spend days working on this and preparing for it ahead of time, and then you take that strategic planning and you put it on a shelf, which many people do, then it does you no good at all. It just wasted your time. So it's important that whatever it is that you do in that planning process, that it is then implemented. There has to be a plan for implementation and a plan for measuring the outcomes from that implementation so that you know what worked and what didn't work and what you need to work on more perhaps the next time. Now, I think that most institutions have a process for strategic planning, but I think a lot of them break down in the implementation part. And I also think that often the planning is too short term. And on the other side of that coin, I think that there are also few opportunities for immediacy that are taken advantage of. So, you know, something that may be able to be changed very quickly will be delayed because people want leadership wants more approval or wants there to be more processes for this to go through before they actually implement it. Uh, I have a friend who's a president of Bellhaven University, and he has a very strong leadership role within his, his presidency. Uh, he, he, imp he actually initiates and implements a whole lot of change without even having a strategic plan. And in fact, he is writing a book right now uh, titled Stop Planning and Start Getting Results. There is a lot of time spent in the academy in planning and meetings. And if they don't lead to actual improvement and implementation of the findings, then at the very best, they've been a social meeting. So we need to focus on what we want to accomplish and how that is going to happen and not get bogged down with the process itself. And we, we have to also realize that, that radical transformation, which is needed in most, most institutions, is far beyond simple budget cuts or, or operational tweaks. You cannot cut your way to success in this day and time. And small tweaks in the process will not get you where you need to go. So you need to be willing to go in and do the hard work to create a strategic plan that is going to move the institution from where it is to where it needs to be. And in too many cases, that's a long, long way. So how do you plan for today and plan for the future and implement it all at the same time? Planning for today and for the future and implementing are all pieces of this and one person doesn't have to do it all. Now you need your leader to be able to lead the process of creating the strategic plan, but all the players that are involved are going to be a part of making that change and implementing that change and in fact measuring the outcomes of that change. So it involves all of the constituents, all of the players, and your faculty will be a, a large part of this. If you have a faculty that, that does not buy in or lean into this, then you can be in trouble. They, there can be a lot of resistance. So it's very critical that the whole institution see the vision, see the need, and then be willing to play the critical part that perhaps only they can play in making it happen, and then be willing to measure the outcomes so that the evidence is there, that positive change was made, and there also will be hints as to what perhaps needs to be changed in the future. <music>